Okay, well here we are for turn four of Rattenkrieg. Um, the Germans are looking a little shaky right now. Um, a couple more Soviet units and a couple more German losses and this game is over. So, we will start with um, the infiltration phase. Roll my two dice here for the Russians. And we come up with the area uh, die roll of six, indicating area six, and area six is vacant, which means that the next uh, random Russian unit will infiltrate into that position. Now we have to be very careful. I have one, two, three, four, five, six German counters on the map. I have one, two, three, and now four, five five uh, Soviet units on the map. So this will most likely be the last uh, game turn because the Germans are bound to lose something if they attack since you have to take an automatic hit in any battle um, regardless of the outcome. But if they could eliminate on a one for one, well then they may still be in with a, a chance. So we'll come to German movement. Let's see. What are my options? Well, this battle is still, I guess there's still a small chance of that battle occurring and successfully ending in some sort of success. <sighs> and that would leave this stack here. So, I guess this stack here, eh, keep everybody together here. Everybody moved at once. Looks like I have to do some work on my uh, tweezers. And then there's, wait a minute, he's already in there. Aha! Hold on, back up. Back up. Guess I can move the tank into there. And with these guys, we can make it two spaces. One, two, and we'll try to hammer this guy. These guys are up here, and he'll stay here. Um, I think that's probably going to be it, although I fear this one may be an ambush. Looks like there could be an ambush left, and or another uh, rifle unit. But anyway, now we'll come to... We don't flip anybody over for the deadly surprise. There is no deadly surprise. So we will proceed uh, in due dice determination. Another combat phase. We'll go from top to bottom, I guess. Solve this little battle right here in Area 3. Uh, area 3 has a one star, and this unit has no stars. So it'll be one star to three crosses. There are more crosses than stars. So the Germans will roll two dice, and the Soviets will roll one die. Oops. And I get to decide if I want to use air support in this battle, and I think I will decline. I only have one air point left, air strike left. So here's the die roll. And the Germans continue to uh, run into a brick wall here. So the Germans have to automatically take a loss, so I guess they'll lose a general, and then, well, they take a loss, and then they have to take the automatic loss, regardless of whether they win or lose. So, that did not turn out too well. We'll go on to the next attack, and it's going to be here. We're going to have uh, three stars plus one is going to be four stars to the German three stars. So it'll be two Soviet red dice versus one German white die. And let's see, do the Germans want to add an air support point? Uh, they'll both be rolling even dice. Uh, which area has the better? Three stars. 
This area has two stars. Well, I guess we'll just take our lumps here. All right. And the dice continue to go the Soviets' way. Well, they will have to take, regardless, they're going to have to take step loss for losing the battle. And another step loss just because. Automatic step loss in any uh, combat they're in. And then we have the third battle down here. We have three star, three iron crosses to three stars. So that's pretty much even up. Both sides roll two dice. And it's been the last air point, so I guess the Germans will roll one extra die. Well, finally. The Germans roll a six, which is the highest dice. Or who has, let's see, how does that work again? The single highest die roll, or the most number of high die dice wins. So I'm guessing the six is the highest, so that will eliminate the Soviet... Uh, Six tank brigade. Uh, due to the horrible nature of combat in this particular area, we will have to reduce a unit automatically. So I guess it says bye bye to the German general there. All right. Well, it would be nice if I uh, keep these counters. Figure out how to use these uh, tweezers. All right. There are no more air strikes. What do we have here? Hmm. It looks like it could still be even. One, two, three, four Soviet. Uh oh. It's only one, two, three Germans. Well, it is the Soviet victory. Uh, the victory conditions state that the player wins the instant most Soviet counters remain on the map, but loses the instant there are more Soviet than German counters on the map. Otherwise, you. Uh, the War of the Rats at Stalingrad continues another turn. Well, we can see here clearly that the Soviets have more units on the map, and therefore the game will end in an automatic Russian victory. All right. Well, that was fun. So, um, thanks for watching this series of videos. Um, I've used several different techniques, and I'm not sure which one is probably the best one, but... Um, that's why I'm still practicing. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will continue to watch more of my videos. I think I'm going to be doing the old the Tactics uh, adventure game, uh, Battle for Normandy, Breakout from the Beaches, June 1944, next. Um, that one, let's see if I can get a picture of it right here, kind of. Yeah, that one there. It's an oldie, but it'll fit on my table, and um, it's good for solo play. So, and what with June 6th coming up and everything, well, I guess that's just pretty thematic. So, anyway, I wish you all the best, and I'll talk to you later.